guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are recreating this look and I am giving you two lip options. If you don't like red, you can go with a simple pink or any kind of nude or any other lipstick that you like. And now this look is something that I have been wearing non-stop at work and I get a lot of compliments for this look because it's really simple, it's really easy. You can glam it up with a pop of color, like a deep color, like a bright color and you can actually calm it down if you don't like it this bright like the lipstick you can always calm it down with your own preference uh, lipstick and this is really easy to do like I get done my I get my makeup done in like 15 minutes like without any disturbance and this is just an easy peasy look that I recreated and I've tried to keep my products really minimalistic and I've reused my contour as my uh, blending shade and everything of that sort so I'm just not gonna ramble a lot and I'm just gonna let you guys see the video so let's get started so I'm just going to grab the multi-active range from Clarins again this is a day cream and absolutely love it. it so now my husband set up a screen for me right here and I cannot look at it because if he sees the video and if I'm looking over there he's gonna be like I told you so bitch so no not going to look at it so make sure you are always prepping your skin and yeah again for today's video we are actually doing this look is something that I actually wear to work and a lot of people actually do this kind of look over here and I'm pretty sure you guys can use this as a daytime look with a really soft lip or if you want to make it a nighttime look then you can definitely go ahead and apply a bold lip with it this look is bomb diggity for any kind of occasion whether it's party, wedding do what you gotta do girlfriend now I'm going to embarrass myself and pretend that this never happened and you guys also pretend that this never happened and I'm going to be one of the cheapest persons ever now I did go to India and I ran out of my pack primer and I did not realize that so I'm just gonna open the lid and I'm just going to grab whatever I can and use it on my face my face is serumized moisturized and primerized these are just my words don't take me serious for it I'm just going to go ahead with my color correction because sister does have some pigmentation and I'm just going to use the burnt orange kind of a shade from MAC palette um, if you don't have MAC or if you don't have color correction don't stress yourself you can just use an orange lipstick literally it covers up so well use a foundation and if you have been following me for quite some time that you won't be surprised the foundation that I would be using L'Oreal Infallible now I'm in the shade 320 and something that I really really love about this um, foundation is that it stays on for really 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 long don't you ever forget your neck your neck is very important part of your face so never forget that area oh honey never get your makeup in your hair now this is what my face looks like with just foundation and now I have another favorite concealer of mine that I am absolutely loving and if you can ever try this concealer I would always suggest you to try it now this is this is this might be expensive in India but I swear to god once you get hooked on this you're gonna thank me later I'm in the shade light to medium and this is the Bobbi Brown retouching wand <laughs> Let's draw me a mustache. After my face is done, I'm going to set it with my most favorite Krylon powder. And they do, it does come in a small size because I recently got a small size powder for one of my friends here. Now I'm going to take my MAC bronzing powder. You can use any any contouring powder that you have. You don't have to always get what the YouTubers are using. And this one is in the shade matte bronze. And I'm just, and there's actually a dent right there. So I've been using it quite a lot. I'm just gonna make my duck face and start contouring. It's not gonna be a harsh contour. Ooh, honey. It's not going to be a harsh contour, but it's just going to be something soft to give me more definition on my face.
Now, if you have this, it's a really, really pretty color. This one's actually a Clinique blush. And I'm really late on the bandwagon because this one was really, really famous. And this one is called Cheap Cheek Pop Blush Pop. And this is in the shade number one, Ginger Pop. And this one is really ideal for Indian skin tones. And now, Indian skin tones do come in a lot of shades nowadays. Okay, so I'm like medium to deep in skin tone. I'm not light, I'm not fair, I'm medium skin tone. And this one suits just fine for us. So I'm just gonna smile and put it. Now I'm going to use a highlighter. Now this one is called the Mary Luminizer. Now for the eyes, it's going to be really, really simple. And now I will be using the Makeup Forever um, eyeshadows. They don't have num names, but they do have some numbers. And I'm going to put it right here. And for the alternative for this one is actually a Revlon Link um, one. It's actually Lava, I believe, if I'm not wrong. That is something that you can absolutely use. And this is just a brown shade with a little bit of gold or like... Um, bronze flex to it i'm just gonna take my bronzing powder just pack it on dab off the excess look down and just start blending now you can actually use your fingers or you can just use a flat brush i'm just using the mac 239 but you can use your fingers for it you don't need an expensive brush so i'm just gonna take the brown eyeshadow brush you can actually spray it fix plus if you want to but this one's quite pigmented you don't have to do it but maybe you have to do it for revlon if you're trying to use one because that does have a little bit of fallout. I just put the darkest, the dark colors just on the lid, not like just the moving lid and not above my crease or anything of that sort. Because dark colors do travel above and when I open my eye, I don't want to have like someone punched me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blend really softly. I'm just going to take a little bit of highlighter, the Mary Luminizer, with the same brush. Now, if you guys want to apply an eyeliner, you guys can go ahead and do that. But I'm not into eyeliners right now. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. But I'm not an eyeliner girl as of right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of kajal. And the one that I'm using is Back Intense Duo Eyeliner Pencil 24 7. Now, I'm just going to Next, I'm going to be using mascara, and this one's the Clinique Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara. Absolutely love it. This is actually like a travel size one, but it's absolutely stunning. Like, you will see a difference. Now, moving on to the lips, like I've mentioned, you can uh, spice up this look with your lipsticks. So, if you, if you think this eyeshadow is a little intense for you, and I honestly feel that it's just really natural, it's nothing too overly done. Um, you can use our lip options as per your wish. I'm going to show you the two that I absolutely love and I actually flaunt. The first one is um, Lacme 9 to 5 Weightless Mousse Matte Mousse Lipstick. This is the lip or cheek color, sorry, don't know. This one's in the shade Coffee Light. Now this is again a little really good brown. So I'm just gonna put it on my lips. So this is what it looks like with a really simple lipstick. If you want, you can zap, zap, zap it up or hype it up with a really bold lipstick. Now I'm going to show you which lipstick I'm going to be using right now. And this lipstick stays on for a while. And But something that I noticed, it's probably my lips, but I'm not sure because there are a lot of people who are raving about this. My lips do get a little crumbly. Maybe I apply too much, but I don't think so. You can tell me, judge me. So with this, we'll finish this look and now this is what it looks like with the red lipstick. I definitely prefer both of them but I really like a red lipstick with this kind of a look because when you're trying to go simple, you just have to make a bam. Like if it makes sense, you know what I'm trying to say? Like you want to look simple but you want to look a bam, this is what you can go for and it's really, 
easy and really quick to do this makeup to makeup look but just because i'm doing it on a camera it takes a little while and this is how we finish with this look i hope you guys have enjoyed this video 